I have a 1889 clinometer, also known as an inclinometer, declinometer, pitch and roll indicator, or tilt meter, in various other terms. Or a level. Or a level, yeah, <laughs> I could say that. I came in the pawn shop today to sell my antique clinometer. I got the clinometer at a flea market in Northern Illinois, and it's a very rare device. I'm asking 3,500 for the clinometer, but I will take 1,500. If I get the 1,500 bucks, I'm gonna go out and buy some more really cool things. It's an interesting carpenter's tool. Instead of just being a level with a bubble in it, you know, because your bubble basically tells you whether you're flat or not, mm -hmm. this will tell you what your inclines are without having to whip out the pen and paper to do it. And WLL was probably the carpenter that owned it. Sure. It was probably a tool he used almost every damn day. Yeah. And this is your paperwork with it? Yeah, that's the original patent. Okay. William B. Mellick of St. Louis patented in 1889. This was a pretty amazing time. You know, up until the first 50 years of the patent office, we did like 14 or 15,000 patents. And then the second half of the 1800s, we did almost a million. Yeah. And this is one of those neat things where a guy's sitting around saying, it'd be so much easier if I can just put a level there and it tells me the angle. It's interesting. What do you want for it? I'm actually looking for 3,500. And I'm basing that on, I had an expert tool person tell me about it. And okay. They said it was a very rare item, collectible. He said it was worth that. He didn't offer to buy it, though, did he? No, he didn't okay. offer to buy it. He said he'd never <laughs> seen one. That sounds really astronomical for something like this. Okay. I've seen similar things before uh, go for like a couple hundred bucks. And I'd give you like 150 bucks for it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that'd be way too low. <sighs> I like it, but we're worlds apart here, but. Okay, well, I appreciate you looking at it. All right, no problem, man. Yeah, have, all right. Have a good one. Thanks. I'm passing on the offer of 150 because it's definitely worth much more than that. I'm gonna keep the clinometer till I can find an offer that's more on the right level.